Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to perform a case-sensitive lookup. So let's say, for example, that we've got a list of items here, and some of them are in different cases. For example, Apple starts with a capital A here, and we have a lowercase here. Now, if we type Apple here, and we did a normal kind of lookup, like a VLOOKUP, and we're looking up this value out of this table here, and then uh, we're looking at the second column to bring us back that quantity, so it's 2 and we want a uh, exact match what would that give us? That'll give us 400 which is this first item here so functions like the VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP or I believe LOOKUP2 they are not case sensitive instead uh, we'd have probably have to put a formula like this in and when we put a formula like this in this is actually has an array formula in there we'd have to press the control shift enter key to put those curly brackets on the beginning and end which indicates it's a array formula and press enter now we've got the correct match which is 200 here and if I type in Apple with the capital A it gives me 400 which is the exact match there now looking at this particular formula it looks like we don't have any range of cells there's not that B A2 colon to B7 and that's because I use named ranges and let me go through this example of how I create this particular formula also with the name ranges in here so let's go ahead and copy this table down here let me select this table control C to copy and then control V to paste I'm just gonna paste without any of the uh, formatting so basically you can see how I formatted this I, I went up there and went up to home put a border there and for this particular background color I'm just gonna probably put something like um, maybe I'll just put green here right and I'm just gonna go and copy this these headers these fields copy and paste now and I'm also gonna put some borders here all right to make it look a little bit more visually appealing now for these items I'm gonna put um, this header this will be item 2 and this will be quantity 2 because I named these uh, I named this first table items and quantity. So if I select a cell, you'll notice that now up here in the name manager here it says items. And if I select this cell, it says B2. But if I select this whole range, it gives me quantity. So what I can do here is I can either select the, the cell here and then type in items, items 2. So for the second column, I'll go ahead and select all the, the columns or the, the cells for that particular uh, range and go ahead and press Control Shift F3 and I'm going to get the name from the top row. So I'm click OK and you'll notice that if I select this column now the name will show up there. So there's two ways you can do it. You can just select the range and type it in here or select the range and Control Shift F3 will get you there. So let's go ahead and put this formula in. So the formula is index so I'm going to look up the array, and what I want to bring back, I want to look up is just basically the quantity table. So I'm going to look up that particular array. This is quantity 2, and it picked it up because that was a name range. Now if I wanted to, if I didn't want to select that, all I needed to do was just type quantity, and it shows me some tips here, and this is basically the name range I selected. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that, comma, and then my row number. So basically this is going to be the match. It's going to be a match statement. I want to match a lookup value. So what do I want to look up? I want to look up true, the, the word true, and I want to look up I want to look up it in the using the exact formula. So this the exact function I mean. So the exact function is going to look up a I guess a list of text and see which ones match. So I want to look up the item here. I'm going to look up whatever shows up in this particular field and look it up in a range of cells. So that range of cells is items 2. So I'm going to type items 2. I can either have selected from A11 to A16, but since I named that range, it's items 2. And then I can go ahead and close that parentheses. Now I'm going to type a comma, and it's going to bring me to the match time. I want an exact match, so I'm going to click that. And I'm going to press the parentheses closing closing parentheses and another closing parentheses that closes out this particular whole function you can notice that you you the colors here kind of give you an idea of where it closes so this this is kind of a green color it matches with this green color 
and this is a black color matches with that black color. So this is again, I mentioned before, it's an array formula. This basically turns uh, an item into a list of items within the function itself. Uh, and I'll kind of go through the formal evaluator to show exactly how it, it does that. So whenever you have an array within the formula, you have to press Control Shift Enter to execute that. So now it says not applicable because I don't have any values up here. If I type in Apple with a capital A, it should bring back 400. If I type in Apple with a, if I, let me try the bottom ones here. If I type in Orange with a capital, it will bring back 100. If I type in Orange, lowercase, without all lowercase, it brings back not applicable. But if I change that E, double click here, if I change that E to from a lowercase to a capital E, it will bring back 700. All right. So let's see how this particular function works. To go and see how it works, I have to bring up the formal evaluator. You can use the keyboard shortcut as the Alt key T U F. It's going to bring back the bring up the formula evaluator, and you can go through the evaluation of the formula. So basically, it's underlining what it's looking for here: quantity two, which is B11 to B16, which is right here. And then the next step is it's going to look at the items two, and it'll bring back that array of items to that list so it's going to get capital apple a apple lowercase apple and now it's going to match this orange this first value orange with a capital e at the end and it's going to match it and see which ones are true so it's going to bring back trues and falses sorry so there's a bunch of falses falses trues and now it's going to match the true to true and find which place it's in so this is the first place one two three four true is in the fourth place here so it's going to bring back the number four you see the number four here. And now it's going to look in this index, B11 to B16, right, which is here, B11 to B16. So it's going to look at the fourth place, one, two, three, four. So that's 700. That's where it brings back the 700. And that's where we get our 700 there. So it can close this. So this is how you would create a, a lookup function or formula to look at case-sensitive lookups, to do case-sensitive lookups. Uh, whether Because you can't do it in, in, you can't really do it easily in the VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP or LOOKUP. But the index and match uh, combination with other functions let you do it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.